thank you for coming to the 30th annual Relay for Life in Woodbridge Township and helping the American Cancer Society lead the fight for a world without cancer. My name is Aditya Sharma and I'm a part of our event leadership team. We'd again like to thank Woodbridge High School for hosting us again this year. For We'd like to thank Mr. Mayor McCormick for coming out and supporting our annual event. Mayor, would you like to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Sure. Please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please remain standing as Riley sings our national anthem. She's from Woodbridge High School. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight what o'er the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's right glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled then I yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. All right, all right. Let's hear from Riley. Thank you. You may be seated. How about these young high school kids here, huh? Aditya, Tanish, and Vishnu coming out here and giving up their time to help run this event. Maybe the future of our country is not so bad after all. I want to thank everybody who helped make today possible. The leaders of the group, the Relay for Life Woodbridge, Tammy McCormick, Amy McDevitt, uh, Lauren Tarabetsky, all of you who come out every year, every time in, in June to do this great event. We can never stop remembering those who passed from the awful dreaded disease of cancer and do the best we can to keep fighting going forward so that less people pass away. So Woodbridge Township stands with you. We will do everything we ever need to do to make sure you're successful. I want to introduce Sharon McAuliffe. She's very involved with the committee. She's our first ward councilwoman covering Woodbridge proper and, and Sea Warren. And once again, thanks to everybody. We got the Doves today. We got the big bagpiper today. A whole lineup of uh, great people to help us, help us celebrate. And thank you all for coming out. We have gathered today because cancer has touched each and every one of us. By the end of the year, over 1 million people are expected to be diagnosed with cancer and more than 600,000 will die from cancer. Cancer is second only to heart disease and deaths in the United States. The American Cancer Society is on the forefront in fighting cancer on a daily basis. They help patients and their caregivers with services such as rise to treatments, lodging, a 24-7 hotline, cutting-edge research, and advocating on behalf of cancer patients. Together, together, along with the American Cancer Society, we can make a difference. The mission of American Cancer Society is to save lives, celebrate lives, and lead the fight to a world without cancer. Kindly raise your hand if you or a family member has received a ride to cancer treatment appointments through the American Cancer Society Road to Recovery Program or stayed at an American Cancer Society Hope Lodge facility or used Hotel Partner Program while receiving treatment away from our home. You or a family member has ever taken the drugs Tamoxifen, Arimidex, or Gleevec. 
you or a family member has ever called the American Cancer Society's 24-7 hotline. You or a family member has ever had a mammogram or pap test. You or a family member enjoys a smoke-free restaurant and indoor space. You or a family member has received precipitin during cancer treatment. The American Cancer Society has had a hand in helping make all of the efforts possible. If your hand is raised, you have benefited from the potentially saving work of the American Cancer Society. So you see, you are the work of the American Cancer Society and their programs. Thank you for all you do. When we raise money through the Relay for Life of Woodbridge Township, we are supporting American Cancer Society in their fight against cancer for current and future patients. Today we celebrate those currently battling cancer as well as our many survivors and remembering those who have lost their lives. Over the next couple of hours, we will recognize the battle waged 24 hours a day, seven days a week by those currently fighting cancer, those that have survived the deadly disease, and those that have lost their lives to cancer. Motivational speaker Andy Andrews is quoted as saying, everything you do is ma matters. You have the power to change the world. Some of you may see the ceremony as one day, one more memory in a collection of many. But remember, every single thing you do matters. You have the power to change the world. Your presence here today with the support of the American Cancer Society is changing our world. Nearly 14.5 million cancer survivors in the US are alive today and you're making that happen. This year, progress was made through research for treatments to, to cure cancer and find cancer. And you're making that happen. This year, millions of patients and their families receive information and support from the American Cancer Society. And you're making that happen. Thank you for being here tonight and your belief in us gives us the power to change the world. And now, I would like to introduce a local cancer survivor, Ms. Anne Marie Almasi, who would like to say a few words. Ms. Almasi, the stage is yours. I hope you can hear me. I'm going to do my best. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Anne Marie Almasi, and I am honored to stand before you today as a cancer survivor, fighter, and grateful member of our incredible community. Thank you all for joining us and showing your unwavering support for this Relay for, uh, for Life event. Your presence is a testament to the strength and unity of our community. I extend a special acknowledgement to all the cancer survivors here today who inspire us with their re resilience. 10 years ago, after a routine screening at JFK Breast Cancer Breast Center, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. This journey began unexpectedly during a lunchtime conversation with my coworker and friend, Pat Purcell. As usual, we were sitting around the lunch table, talking about nothing, like the television show Seinfeld, and the subject of health screening came up. Pat mentioned that it was her goal to, to complete all her screenings by the end of the year. All she had left to do was her mammography. Knowing I needed one as well, we made dual appointments for December 23rd, 2013, a day that will forever be infamous to me. We had our tests done one after the other, commiserated about our squishy experience, left with big hugs, and wished each other a happy, healthy holiday. Concerns about having breast cancer was the first and furthest thing from my mind. I had absolutely no family history. I exercised, I ate healthy, well, most days anyway, my entire life. Everything was good until it wasn't. Two days later, I received the call that changed my life. Looking back, 
I wonder what would have happened if we hadn't had that seemingly insignificant conversation. It was that conversation that led to my diagnosis and saved my life. Surely things happen for a reason, and my faith allows me to believe that angels are always watching. So thank you, Pat, for being my angel on that day with a conversation about nothing that was clearly magnanimous. My message to you today is this. Prioritize those uncomfortable, squishy, and oftentimes embarrassing screening tests. Make scheduling them a top priority. They can save your life. Early detection is critical. I'd like to share a story of my friend and co-worker, Cindy, a survivor of stage four breast cancer. During another seemingly ordinary lunchroom conversation, she turned to me and said, Amory, count your blessings that you were diagnosed today. There is no better time to have breast cancer than now, than now with so many treatment op options as the boys talked about. She was right. And we are both here today to testify to the success of cancer treatments and being cancer free. Cindy's optimism was a beacon of hope. So for the newbies to a cancer diagnosis out there, surround yourself with the Cindy's of the world. Ones that are upbeat, positive, and walk around with smiles on their faces. It makes a world of difference. Relay for Life embodies the spirit of research, support, and treatment. The funds raised enable groundbreaking research that leads to innovative treatments and cures. They provide so support programs that offer patients during their toughest times. This community is not just about surviving cancer. It's about thriving and living to the fullest despite of it. So my takeaway gift to you is be your own advocate, educate yourself, and don't hesitate to ask questions. Prioritize mental health. Seeking mental health during this time is as important as medical help. Build a dedicated support system. Lean on friends, family, and support groups. Stay active. Find a fitness program that works for you, like the Stay Tr Strong program at Woodbridge Community Center. I teach it. Join me on Tuesday mornings at 10 a.m. Cancer is not necessarily a life sentence. Advantage in medical research, early detection, and improved treatments have significantly increased survival rates. The work we do here at Relay for Life supports this progress and gives hope to countless individuals and families. I also want to express my deepest gratitude to everyone with those with, whose unwavering kindness and courage and have been my strength and inspiration throughout my journey. A special thank you to our generous sponsors, dedicated supporters, and the incredible Relay team led by Amy McDivitt and Tammy McCormick and all the other hardworking volunteers who or organized this event for more than 20 years. And my biggest thank you goes to my own personal support team. To my husband, Bill, we grew up together and we, we got to grow old together. Bill, as we celebrate 10 years cancer-free, we are also celebrating our 50th anniversary as well. I thank my kids and their spouses Maura and Bobby and Bill and Christina. <sighs> Watching your mom go through cancer wasn't easy, but you handled it well. And to my grands, a love that is unexplainable until you are, you know how special you are. True but funny story. My oldest grandson, Will, was about eight at the time I was going through treatment and would often visit. One day he was sitting right in the recliner with me. He was small enough to do this and looked up and he asked, he calls me Amy, Amy the Grammy, Amy, exactly where did you have your surgery? Oh, oh boy, I wondered, how much do you tell an eight-year-old? I took a deep breath 
and said, I had my surgery on my boob and it wasn't to make it bigger. We both laughed and the rest is history. He's a sophomore in college now and I'm so grateful I got to watch him grow into a kind and caring young man. And I can say the same about my granddaughter Avery and my Action Jackson grandson. He's a singer and a hockey player and a charmer and he's here today. Stand up Jackson, wave. There you go. Lastly, I thank family members, friends, physicians, and angels that walked this journey with me. Ah, Kathy, I know you're still watching from above. It took a village, but I made it. Later today, as we walk the track, illuminated by the beautiful glow of illuminating bearing survivors and those we have lost, let us remember the strength and re resilience of our community. Each light represents a story of courage, battle, and, and a life that is cherished. Together we stand, united in our mission to defeat cancer. Together we will stay strong. And together we will continue to inspire each other with hope and healing. I am truly humbled to be here today. Please share my mission of spreading the importance of early detection through tests and well visits. Remember, I didn't have one iota of cancer family history. And most important, if you know some with, someone with cancer, support them with a smile and cancer. Find out what their personal needs are. Big hint here, very few cancer patients want to talk about the process of their di cancer diagnosis. I needed conversations about nothing like Seinfeld, meals that I didn't have to cook, and help with my family. They were the things that mattered the most to me. I live the, by this quote from Aesop. No act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. Spread kindness, because kindness matters. Thank you for listening, and may we support and uplift each other as we move forward. Enjoy the rest of the day. I'm sorry, can we give Miss L. Macy one more round of applause? As we enjoy each other's company today, let's not forget why we have gathered. Our survivors, current cancer patients, and those that are no longer with us are the reason that we need to keep coming together through the Relay for Life movement. Each and every one of you are here to bring the fight to cancer together and work on making this world cancer free. We would like to thank our generous sponsors for making our day a huge success. RWJ Barnabas Health, Hackensack Meridian Health, Almacy Contractors, George Link Foundation, Wegmans, the Woodbridge Brewing Company, Woodbridge Township Senior Billiards Co Club, American Irish Association of Woodbridge, the Max Challenge of Woodbridge, the Woodbridge Charitable Fund, the Community Center, the Veterinary Group, the local PBA 38, and the Professional Firefighters IAFF Local 290 for donating and serving the food and admission from Woodbridge Fire District Number 1. We would also like to recognize those who have raised $1,000 and reached the Grand Club status. We have Roxanne Gerritsen. We would also like to recognize those that have raised $2,500 and reached the All-Star status. Tammy McCormick, Amy McDevitt, Amy McDevitt, David, Amanda Milek, and of course, thank you to our fabulous event leadership team, us who are wearing red t-shirts, and special thanks to our team captains and their teams, and to all the participants and spectators here today. A special thank you to our survivors and caregivers who inspire us to continue the fight. Now, All right, now we will heed to them. Forward, 
don't have it. Here, it's awesome. So now, survivors, when your name is read, please make your way to the podium and receive your survivor medal and then gather at the start of the line. MJ Cress. Miss Debbie Clark. Uh, Lena Kaplan. Jay Kaplan. Melanie Carbone. Rydy Turabetsky. Roxanne Gerritsen. Doris Sistrelli. Sheila Sawyer. Lauren Turabetsky. Barbara Frost. Roberta Liepman. Miss Jeannie. If you have a Jeannie here. Catherine Bone. Catherine Bone. Joanne Smith. Amy McDevitt. Nancy Hines Lasek. John Keslaukis. Barbara Clark. Help you guys. It's Tammy McCormick. Brian De Silva. Teresa Huljack. Denise Gassum. Miss Anne Mary Almasi. That's a weird thing. Oh, 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 sorry. And any other survivors here today, we invite you to please come and receive your survivor medal. I'll say that thank you, Lana. One more round of applause for all our survivors. Yeah, we're sending yeah, We're better. All others line the track to cheer on the survivors. Survivors and their caregivers will take the first lap and all other teams and team members following. Enjoy the day and many activities planned. Also, a reminder that the luminary lap will begin at approximately 9 p.m. Thank you for coming, everybody, and we'll see you soon. Enjoy the day.